Hi students, in this exercise we will convert blocks with data that can be extracted into several 3D points. You can open this drawing from the description link. I will put the link there then you can download this drawing. And when you will open your drawing notice the points data in uh, form of block you will see that all of them are instances of the same block their insertion point coincidence with the origin of the field shots they have z values assigned to each that corresponds to the field elevation and the attributes data assigned to each instance actually contains field that you can use this is the best scenario for conversion of uh, blocks to several 3d points we will convert this data and then we will generate the text file that you can import back and create points in several 3d now go to insert tab and link and extraction panel here you can click on extract data icon in the data extraction page 1 to 8 select create a new data extraction and then press next you will be prompt to save your data extraction as a new so you can uh, select the location and give it the proper name for example I put name Coco in the data extraction define data page 2 of 8 change the selection from the default to select object in the drawing and then press select object from the current drawing using the selection icon to the right of the option select the point block in the drawing and press enter then click next now we will convert these all blocks into several 3d points in the data extraction page 3 of 8 dialog in the display option section clear all check boxes with the exception of display block this one with attributes only the block points object should be the only item display and selected in the object area so it should be just selected and in the data extraction select page uh, 4 to 8 in the category filtered area clear the selection and leave just attributes and geometry once these two filter are selected you will have option for which properties here you want to extract to have a working PNEZ file select and extract data like that description uh, uncheck elevation we need point and x y z then clear all of them and then press next since the block already has a z value we will not uh, do the elevation data because that have already elevation data check the selection for the item listed here in the data extraction page uh, 5 to 8 dialog clear the selection for show count column and show name column because we don't need that now you have five noun column for a p and z file which you will need to rearrange to meet your point format requirement you can do that also in excel but we can also arrange 
then here select the column header like point and move it like this then northing easting and elevation and description now you have fine with them and in the data extraction then press uh, next page 6 to 8 select the output data to an external file when you see the file path and file type the data will be saved into click the ellipsis icon to select a new path select where you want to save and put the name of the file like I will put Chicago one press save now click next it will take you to page 8 in this particular workflow we don't need uh, page 7 that that's why it was skip in the data extraction now page 8 of 8 click finish it will take some time to extract your data from these AutoCAD blocks So when your file will be ready you can uh, see here how it is I have already done with it you will get data something like that P and EZ format you can rearrange that data into your file and save this file as CSV we need to wait there are many points that's why it will take the time this depend on your file in points volume So once your data will extract then you can make a CSV file same like uh, any other CSV file when you have data uh, with elevations and coordinates then you can import them into several 3D using points creation tools from the home tab. So it's simple to export your AutoCAD blocks into uh, several 3D text file or CSV file and then you can import these data again into several 3d as a gogo point to use them for surfaces and many more hope you like this video thanks for watching